Well, when Art for Life started, Equitas Health was known as the Columbus AIDS Task Force. I served on the board during the 90s. It is impressive to see how this event has grown, and it all starts with incredible art. The art that graces the walls of the Columbus Museum of Art this week is not just for display. It's for sale, original, colorful, multimedia, different styles with different values, and all of it donated by the artists themselves. I know so many great artists that are working out of Columbus, Ohio, that are in this event, and um, some in, and some nationally. Uh, you know, we've had artists who have grown up here and, and, and learned their craft here and then move on to other places, but always come back and submit for the show. Michael Bush donated his orange moon. He is also one of the four judges who had to determine which art is worthy of art for life. You want to make sure that you're providing a great show and a great example of the work in the community that's, that's here in, in Columbus. But you also, you know, have to keep in mind that you're, you know, breaking some hearts sometimes. So it's really, really hard. But it guarantees an exclusive event. More than 100 pieces are in the silent auction, a dozen more in the live auction. Thousands of dollars will be raised. Where does this go? It goes back to the wonderful folks at Equitas Health for all the work that they do, the research, the patient outreach, etc. I'm a patient of theirs and have been since 2014. And their pharmacy, I think, is what makes them one of the most unique models really in the country. The first year of Art for Life, a few dozen artists donated their work and about 50 people showed up. 500 art patrons are expected this weekend. I mean, the art level is incredible. As an art person, I work at the Columbus Museum of Art. It's wonderful to see that our arts community comes out to support our queer community and to support the research and work that Equitas does. It's just really cool. The caliber is unlike anything else you see in Columbus. And since Art for Life started, it's raised more than $7 million. All of it stays here in Central Ohio for the services of Equitas Health. NBC4 is the proud media sponsor. I'm happy to once again serve as MC. And we have a lot of information about uh, how you can take part in Art for Life at NBC4i.com.